HomeKit. Get started with home automation using Apple's HomeKit in 2022. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. In this video, you will get to know everything about HomeKit and what would you need if we were getting started building an Apple Smart Home using HomeKit. Before we begin our guide for Apple's 2022 HomeKit automation, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll personally reply to your comment. Now let's get started. What is HomeKit? HomeKit is Apple's very own home wireless protocol. It's designed to allow you to control the accessories in your home wirelessly and to group them by room or other logical criteria. By grouping all of your window shades, motion detectors, door locks, and so on, you can control your entire home with a single app and a single Siri command. Tying all of this together is HomeKit itself, the Apple design system that allows you to lock and unlock doors, turn lights on and off, arm and disarm security systems, open windows, and more. You can create groups that include both accessories from different manufacturers like window shades from one company and blinds from another that work together without friction. Tying all of these features together is the HomeKit ecosystem. There's no third-party app store or anything like that, which means that for the most part, only accessories made specifically for HomeKit will work with it. That said, if you're already invested in Apple products, iPhones, iPads, then it's probably worth just going with HomeKit as soon as possible. Once you've adapted it into your home, it will be easier and cheaper to expand than any other system out there. HomeKit Privacy Apple's new HomeKit technology, introduced with iOS 8, will take over all of the home automation devices in your house and let you control them from a single app on your iPhone. Sounds great, right? Well, there are some security concerns. HomeKit is designed to work with smart devices in your houses like lights and locks and thermostats and speakers. Using it, you can coordinate all these devices so they're easy to turn on and off remotely. So for example, you can open the garage door when you leave the house and turn down the thermostat before you get home. But there are privacy concerns with HomeKit. For one thing, Apple is not encrypting data sent to HomeKit-enabled devices. This means that third-party vendors will have full access to everything that's being sent over those connections. It also means that Apple will have full access to the information as well. Using HomeKit means that your home will be listening to everything being said in it, most likely by Apple's voice recognition system Siri, and sending that data back to Apple for processing and storage. And it means that your personal information is going to be stored on Apple's servers, which are not known for their security or privacy protection. HomeKit Hubs HomeKit uses the same technology as AirPlay, so your iOS device can control a HomeKit-compatible accessory without any special hardware other than a Bluetooth chip. The accessories work with Siri and with Apple's Home app. They also work with existing third-party apps that support the Home Control category of hardware accessories. You can set up scenes, which are presets that control multiple accessories at once. For example, you can set up a scene to turn on the lights, lower the temperature, and start playing some music all at once. The HomeKit Hub was only announced recently, but there are already companies making compatible accessories. These include lighting, thermostats, fans, air conditioners, and sensors for doors and windows. Now let's get to some major HomeKit device hubs straight away. First, we have the Apple HomePod, which is designed to sound great whenever it's placed. Its audio technology, including a custom acoustic waveguide and four microphone array, provides room-filling audio. When Siri is activated, an array of seven beamform tweeters illuminates to provide rich, detailed sound with directional control for maximum clarity. And because Apple HomePod is powered through the HomeKit app, there's no need for extra cables or even a separate remote. You'll be able to access Siri from your iPhone or iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV or Mac, and use it from anywhere in the room. With HomePod, the music changes the way you experience your home. Another HomeKit hub is the iPad Tablet 10.2, for effective HomeKit control, this iPad changes everything. At only 0.24 inches and 1.05 pounds, 472 grams, it's the thinnest and lightest iPad ever. It features a powerful A13 Bionic chip, making it more capable than most PC laptops. The 10.2 inch Retina display features 16 million colors and a wider color gamma for true to life images, movies, and photos. Using the Home app, 
The home app is simple and easy to use. It is divided into three sections, scenes, devices, and automation. Scenes are a collection of devices that you have grouped together because they are used in the same way. For example, you might have a good morning scene that wakes you up with your bedroom light turning on, followed by the living room lights turning on and then the music playing. You can create as many scenes as you want and name them whatever makes sense to you. Devices are those things in your house that can be controlled from the home app. As I mentioned before, there are a variety of different kinds of devices that work with HomeKit. Apple has done a great job of making sure that many different kinds of devices can be controlled through their app. When you select a device, it will show several options for how you can control it, along with specific instructions on how to set it up using your iPhone or iPad. It is also important to note that when you add a new accessory to your home, the Home app automatically detects it and asks if you'd like to set it up. Tap Setup to open the configuration panel for that accessory. Adding Devices On adding new devices for your home kit, you will first need to gather some information about your accessory device so that you can implement the required protocols. You will also need to ensure that your accessory device is compatible with HomeKit and that it has the required hardware to communicate with other devices. First off, open your Home app and then tap Add Accessory. You will then tap the Home button on your Apple Watch or iPhone. Use the camera on your Apple Watch or iPhone to scan the 8-digit HomeKit code or QR code on the accessory or accessory documentation. Creating Scenes and Automations A HomeKit scene is a recipe for activating multiple devices with one touch. To create a HomeKit scene, open the Home app and tap the Add Plus button under Scenes in the lower left corner of your screen. Here you will be able to select from a variety of pre-configured scenes or create your custom scene. I'll walk through how to set up a basic custom scene and a slightly more advanced smart home configuration. To create a new scene, click the plus sign in the top right corner of the home app. Tap on Add Scene and then click the Custom option. Give your scene a name that is easy to remember. Siri will use the name you give your scene in voice commands. Once you've named the scene, tap on Add Accessories to select the devices you want to include in the scene. Tap and hold any added accessory to set what that accessory should do when it is in the scene. To make this scene a favourite and have it appear in the main view of the home app, check to include in favourites. When you've set actions for all of your accessories, tap done in the top right corner. You can use the home app on your iOS device to create and manage HomeKit scenes, which are groups of devices that can be activated at once by a single command, such as Hey Siri, it's movie time. The movie time scene, for example, includes all of the lights in their living room and a strip of light behind our couch that we activate with the phrase, Hey Siri, it's movie time. Final thoughts and conclusion. Apple's HomeKit is a new technology that allows you to control your smart home by using your iPhone or iPad. It's based on Apple's Home app and has been designed with safety and security at heart, so you can have peace of mind in your smart home. How is it different from other systems? Unlike other systems, Apple HomeKit products are entirely secure and easy to set up. You don't have to worry about making sure all your devices are compatible because they all are. They also require no hubs or bridges, so it's easy to integrate them into your current system as well as set up new devices. And it doesn't matter where you bought your devices because they're all HomeKit compatible. You can also use Siri for voice control for the first time with third-party devices, so you don't even need to touch any of your devices if you don't want to. And once it's set up, you'll be able to control everything connected to Apple HomeKit from one app on your iPhone or iPad, using Touch ID if you want to stay completely hands-off. Outro. With that, we come to the end of today's show. Do leave a comment on your favourite part of the video, and also, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and once you subscribe, just comment, I subscribed, and I'll personally reply to your comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time.